Hello everyone, this is Top Capable Channel and I'm back to another video. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to unlock iPad saying security lockout. Before moving further to unlock the locked iPad, I will explain why iPad gets locked and delivers you the security lockout message. Okay, in iPad OS 15.2 or later, if you forgot the passcode to unlock iPad and entered the wrong passcode too many times, the normal login screen will turn to a black lock screen reading iPad unavailable continue to input the passcode incorrectly, you should finally get the security lockout alert. For how to fix security lockout and unlock iPad without passcode, we're going to use four possible ways. The end results are the same, that is, the forgotten passcode and all data are erased. Alright, method 1 is easiest and most convenient. You guys can use the erase iPad option to unlock your tablet, which is located right beneath the security lockout message. Method 2 is to try iPhone unlocker from AppGeeker. The tool will bypass the security lockout screen and passcode, and get the iPad unlocked. Method number 3 requires iTunes or Finder to restore iPad with the locked screen a DN passcode removed completely. The last method you could go through to unlock iPad and regain access is iCloud Find My. Okay, let's go over one by one. Okay, guys, here the iPad is stuck on security lockout, and first of all, we're gonna find the erase iPad option and use it to unlock iPad passcode. You don't need iTunes in computer. If your iPad is running on iPad OS 15.2 or higher, connected to cellular or Wi-Fi network, and is signed an Apple account, as well as the Find My iPad feature has been enabled prior to iPad being locked, the security lockout screen should include a race iPad button at the bottom, just like my iPad here. If you guys also have the erase iPad option, now go ahead to tap on it. Then, we hear land and erase all content and settings screen asking to try a passcode attempt after the waiting time elapses, or to perform an erasure and reset right away. Since you've forgotten the passcode and can't unlock iPad, we're gonna do a reset. At the bottom of the screen, tap erase iPad option again. Moving on, sign out of Apple ID. Just go ahead and enter your Apple ID passcode. Once done, the iPad begins resetting. Wait for the iPad to erase security lockout screen and unlock the passcode. Once completed, set up the iPad as a new one. It's all that simple. Alright, if you guys can't see the erase iPad option on the security lockout screen, then it's ready to use AppGeek or iPhone Unlocker. It's a professional yet easy to use iOS passcode removal tool that helps you unlocking the iPad when it's locked with security lockout, iPad unavailable, iPad is disabled connect to iTunes. You can download it from AppGeek or website, or click the download link in the description section right below. Okay. Let's begin unlocking iPad security lockout screen. Open iPhone unlocker on your PC or Mac. Choose wipe passcode. Then click start button. Here, we have to connect the locked iPad to the computer using the original USB cable that comes with iPad. Since iPad is in security lockout, you could see that the iPad is not actually connected. For this case, we have to put it into recovery mode. The tool also guides you to do this. Choose the appropriate tab according to your model and follow the steps. Mine has a home button. So to put it into recovery mode, press and hold home button and power button at the same time until the screen shows a charging cable pointing to a laptop. After iPad restarts to recovery mode, it should be recognized. Check its information on the program screen. Make sure everything is accurate. After that, click start button to let the program download the most situatable firmware for the iPad. This may take a few minutes. When that's done, you're ready to unlock security lockout. Go ahead to enter 0000 and hit the unlock button. Bear in mind that your iPad will be reset to factory settings so you will lose all data and settings including the passcode you forgot. Alright. The software has finished the task and reminds you that your device has been unlocked successfully. iPad is restarting and shows the welcome screen. Swipe up the screen and you're able to set it up. You need to choose your language and country, connect the tablet to a Wi-Fi network nearby, set up Touch ID or Face ID and create a new passcode. When you reach Apps and Data screen, depending on whether you created a backup or not before iPad is on security lockout, you can restore the backup to get back the data that's erased during the unlocking process, or choose don't transfer apps and data to start it as new. Hope you backed up your iPad's data. 
you'll also need to sign in with your own Apple ID and passcode to complete the setup. That's it. iPad is unlocked now. No security lockout, and no passcode. Alright, folks, we come to method 3 using iTunes or Finder to restore iPad and unlock the security lockout screen. Make sure you're using the latest version of iTunes on Windows 10 or higher, and if you're using a Mac, make sure it's up to date. Okay. Plug the locked iPad into your PC or Mac, and get it into recovery mode. We've revealed the steps earlier in method 2. Now, your computer is able to read the iPad that's in security lockout. Open iTunes or Finder. Here you will see a dialog box popping up along with two options, that is restore option, and update option. To bypass the iPad security lockout issue, we're gonna select restore option. Then click update and restore to erase everything on iPad and return it to its factory defaults. Sit back and wait until the restoring process to complete. You'll need to notice that if the process takes more than 15 minutes, iPad will exit recovery mode. You need to re-enter recovery mode and repeat the process. Once the process goes normally, your locked iPad should successfully boot back up. It's been reset to its factory settings and updated to the latest version of iOS. The lock screen passcode and security lockout alert have all been wiped off completely. Follow the steps to set it up and you're able to restore data from an available backup. Alright, method number 4 is through iCloud Find My Website. However, this works only if the Find My iPad feature has been toggled on before the iPad gets unavailable for the forgotten passcode. If you don't know if this method is working for you, you can follow up these steps as well. So, go to iCloud.com slash find on any browser of your choice on your computer, then sign into your iCloud account by typing in your Apple ID and password. Okay. iCloud will then track all your iOS devices that are using the same Apple account. Now, at the top of the page, click all devices, then choose your iPad that is running into security lockout from the list. If you can't find your iPad here, it's very likely that you never turn on the find my iPad feature, and therefore, this method is not your option. Okay. Now, on the pop-up box, choose erase iPhone, and then click erase to begin the process. In case your iPad is connected to the internet, iCloud wipes the iPad clean instantly and remove the passcode you've forgotten. Wait a few minutes for a total reset, and when it's done, here you can see the iPad is unlocked. You're able to open the locked iPad without passcode. Set up the tablet, create a new passcode to it and restore a backup to the device. So thanks you so much guys for watching. Like, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Also let us know in the comment section below if you have any question about unlocking iPad when saying security lockout. That's all for this video. See you in the next one soon.